Hi everyone, Michelle Emma here from Pilates with me. I am so sorry that I have been missing in action. I have been away, but I am back and I am ready to give you a beautiful power Pilates workout for the week. You don't need any equipment for this class, just yourself, some water and some space to work out in. So when you've got all of that, meet me on the mat and let's begin. Hey team, are you ready for your power Pilates class? So power Pilates, I just mean that it's going to be quite intermediate. It's going to be one thing after the next thing, but we are going to have a fair amount of control throughout the whole class. Okay, so keep that control, keep that connection in your core and keep that breathing. That's the most important thing. Also, don't be fooled by this ray of sunshine on my foot. It is freezing here today. The only reason why I'm able to wear shorts in this class is because I've got the heater on. But I do apologize for giving you the class indoors. But as long as you get the movements, I am happy. So let's get started. We're going to go to the front of the mat, feet hip width distance apart. And you want to make sure that you have room behind you. We're going to start off with grabbing the backs of the thighs, lengthening that spine and taking a deep breath in through your nose. And then you're going to exhale to scoop and roll yourself halfway down into your seated cat stretch. You're going to inhale, pull on those thighs, look up to the ceiling, extend, and then exhale, roll it down. We're going to do a few more of these just to get that spine warmed up. Get your body ready for what's to come. Inhale to lift, push chest forward, look up, and exhale to half roll down. Inhale to extend just to finish it off. And then bring it all the way back to center. We're going to then lift the arms forward and up towards the ceiling. Lock the shoulders down. We're going to open those arms. Exhale, rotate to one side. Inhale, bring it to the middle. Lift the arms. Open those arms. And exhale to the other side. So we bring it in. We lift we lower, we rotate. Pull that belly button to spine. Lift, lower, rotate. Bring it in, up and down, long exhale. Bring it in, up and down, and twist. Let's just do two more. Again, we're still warming up the spine, but now you're also warming up the shoulders. Bring it back to the center, lift those arms up and hold. We're going to breathe in, exhale, scoop it into your half roll back. Inhale, lift it all the way up. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, lift it all the way up. And scoop. Lift it all the way up. Let's just do another four. Another three. Relax those shoulders, two, and one last one, one, where you're going to hold it in that half roll back, lock the shoulders, you're going to scoop and exhale, lift the one leg to tabletop, inhale, place it down, exhale, lift the other leg to tabletop, place it down, and three, scoop it, four, we're going straight into it, guys, five, Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Now you're just going to inhale, reach it all the way up, extend, and on your exhale, you're going to half roll down and lift both legs up into your boat position. So it's inhale, you place it down, lift, exhale, you lift up. Inhale, place the feet down, lift the arms. Exhale, boat position. You can choose whether you want your knees together or knees apart. Yeah? I just love having them apart. It helps me with my alignment. I feel like I'm in more control. And I feel like I work a lot harder. So I don't have anything for the knees to cling on to. Let's go for four. <sighs> Pull that tummy in. Fighting that psoas paradox. So you don't want to be bouncing 
forward and back. And then you're going to come up into your last one and hold your boat position. Shins are parallel to the mats. Keep it there. Deep breaths. Let's go for another four, three, two, one. Place the feet down. Extend it all the way up. Take a deep breath in and then slowly roll all the way down onto your back. Let's just hug the legs in. Give it a breather. From this position, we're going to lift those legs to tabletop only to open your knees out and your sides of your feet are pressing into each other. So you've got that beautiful diamond shape. Keep your imprint, hands go behind the head, and let's start with your chest lifted so that we can inhale to lower the head and the legs just to where you can keep that imprint and then exhale to crunch it up. One, we inhale to lower and then you exhale to crunch it up. Two, inhale lower, exhale crunch it up. Three, lower, crunch it up. Four, Keep those elbows in your peripheral vision. Five, you don't want to yank that neck up. Six, seven, exhale, eight, nine, ten. Let's hold this position and you're now going to take your right elbow to right knee and then you take your left elbow to left knee. If you can touch the knee and the elbow together, great. So let's go for another six. Squeeze the tummy. Five. Do a little twist. Four. Three. Move those hips up. Two. One. Bring it back to the center. You're going to keep the chest up. We're going to close the knees and open those knees. For one. Close the knees and open. Two. Push into the sides of your feet so that you've got a nice inner thigh workout happening as well as the tummy burning. We're going to go for another five. Push, four, push, three, two, one. You're going to keep those knees open and let's pulse that chest up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, and release it, bring it back in, Woo! great burn, you're going to drop the feet down, so we've got to imprint, legs to tabletop, we're going to lift it up, and I want you to twist to one side, and get the elbow to knee, and hold it there, as you extend the other leg out, now keep this position, keep lifting the chest, as you bend that other leg in and out, try not let your elbow move at all from that knee. We reach, we bring it in. We reach, we bring it in. Now that tummy is going to be on fire from that previous exercise. But you've got this, guys. You're strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Take the leg straight out, hold it out, pulse the chest to that knee for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold. See if we can immediately swap it over to the other side. It's going to feel like a relief and we bend and extend that other leg in and out. One, two, feel that burn, three. Four, open those elbows, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're going to extend that left leg out, pulse your chest to the knee for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. And return everything to the center. Give it a squeeze. Whew. We're going to grab the backs of the thighs. Rock it all the way up. Come onto your hands and your knees. So from this position, you're going to do slow downward dogs. 
tucking your toes, engaging your core, that tired core, and you're going to exhale, push it into your downward dog, get a nice stretch, but then inhale, rest the knees, lift the chin. Exhale, push it up. Inhale, relax it down. Exhale, push it up for three. Inhale, relax it down. Exhale, push it up for four. Inhale, relax it down. Push it up for five. Relax it down. One last one. Six and hold. Keep this position as you pedal your legs. We're going to add in some more tummy and shoulders. So from here, straighten both of your legs. Walk your hands forward into a plank position. And we start with the left leg and then we're going to alternate. So pull the left knee to left elbow. Then step it back and push it to downward dog. As you come forward, you pull the right knee to right elbow, step it back. You pull left to left, and right to right. That's four. Let's go for six. So we inhale, we exhale. Five. Inhale, four. Three. Two, one, you're going to step it into that downward dog, hold, then shift yourself forward into a plank, hold and lock it in, lock the shoulders, lift the chin, get a nice neutral spine, let's hold for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Release it down. Woo, shake out those arms. <laughs> Beautiful way to get those arms working. We're going to spin around now onto our sides or onto the side of the mat, and we're going to take our right leg out to the side. We're going to take both hands behind the ears, and we're now going to be doing side dips working into those obliques. So you're going to inhale side dip to your left, and you're going to exhale, bring it up. One. You're going to bring it up, down and bring it up. That's two. Bring it down and bring it up. That's three. That's four. Try and pretend you're doing this between two walls. So you want to be nice and straight. This is six. This is seven. Eight, nine, really push bum forward, squeeze, lock that right thigh, and ten. You're going to go down. You're going to hold. You're going to take that right arm over the right ear and pulse the whole upper body. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. And bring it all the way back to center. Release. Before we swap it over, you're going to spin to the front of the mat. Now, that was your right leg, which means you're now going to come down onto your left elbow. Just the left elbow. Take that right leg straight back. And we're going to inhale, pull it into that right elbow. Exhale, push it back. One. We pull it in, push it back. Look at the knee and then look away. This is four. So now you're getting a beautiful ab, bum, oblique workout. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. You're going to hold it. We're going to lower that right leg and lift it for one. Lower and lift for two. Squeeze your tummy in. Lift your chin. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
and 10. You're going to hold it up and give it a pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold, and gently bring it down. Woo. Push it up, push it all the way onto the knees, and we swap it over to the other side. So it's taking that left leg out to the side this time. You're locking that left thigh, pushing your hips, squeezing your core. Take both hands behind the ears, and we inhale, dip it over to your right, and exhale, bring it back up. One. We inhale, and exhale, two. Three. Want you to get as low as possible without losing your alignment. Five. Six. Seven. Inhale down. Exhale up. Nine. Last one. We're going to take it down. Take that left elbow over the left ear. And let's pulse the upper body for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold. And bring it all the way back to center. Release it. Remember, you're going to turn. Now, that was your left leg, so we're doing the left leg still. You're going to come down onto the right elbow this time. Extend your left leg back. And we inhale to pull it in to the left elbow. Exhale, push it back. One, two, three, pull, push. Four, five, six, seven. Look at the knee, look away. Eight, nine. And 10. Keep that left leg up. We're going to lower it down and lift. One. Lower and lift. Two. Squeeze those abs in. Three. Four. Check your posture. Pull your shoulders away from the ears. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Hold it and pulse it up. Four. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, hold, and gently bring it in. This time you can go to a shelf stretch. Take a deep breath in. Roll it all the way up to seated. Whew, moving on to the next thing. Okay, these ones are my absolute favorites. They are quite challenging. You know that it's going to be challenging if it's one of my favorites. You're going to come onto your forearm. Make sure that that elbow is underneath that shoulder. Move your knees back. And it's just going to be your top leg that you're going to straighten out. It's a little sequence that we're going to do together, and we're going to keep adding things onto it. So you're going to do it with me. Get into position. Top hand behind the top ear. You first push yourself up into a side plank. Then we rotate that top elbow to bottom hand. You open it up. And then you rest back down. Simple. So you push up. You twist. You open. You lower. These ones are really going to get those V lines working. And lower or muffin tops, as people call them. Four. Let's do another six. Five. Six. Keep breathing. Don't hold that breath in. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one, 10, rest the hips down. We're adding something in. So push it up. First, we take the top elbow to bottom knee. Then we place it down and then we twist. We lift up and then we come down. 
Okay, so we're just adding in that knee to elbow. We tap, down, twist, drop those hips. Lift, tap, knee down, twist, drop those hips. Brace your core. This is four. Keep breathing. Five. Halfway. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. Hold it in this position. Lift that top leg up and pulse your hips for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold and release. Woo. Split those legs and just come into that little side bend, otherwise known as the mermaid or merman. Take the top hand. Grab that opposite knee, round your back, stretch out that QL. And then bring it back to center. Round two. Okay, so onto the other arm. Whew, my obliques are on fire. Move the knees back, top leg goes straight down, top hand behind the top ear. We start with the simple ones first, so it's a lift, a rotate, open, and a lower. That's one. Lift, rotate, open, drop. That's two. Lift, rotate, open, lower. That's three. Four. Five. Six deep breaths. That's seven. It's beautiful because it also works your bottom bum cheek as well. One more. And lower. Now let's add in that knee. So you're going to push up. You're going to tap down. Rotate. That's one. Drop the hips. Lift. Tap, down, rotate, drop your hips. You may need to rearrange every now and then if you feel like you're slipping. Down, lift. This is four. Down, this is five. Half away. This is six. This is seven. This is eight. Whew. Nine. Last one. Ten. You're going to hold it open. Lift that top leg up. Pulse your hips for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, hold, and gently release. Well done, team. Split those legs, go into that little side bend. Top hand grabs the opposite knee, round your back, stretch into the QL. Also releases your neck. And then just release it, relax it. Whew. Okay, moving on. We're going to do more arms. If you didn't feel the arms in that previous one, then you are mad. But you're going to come onto the hands and the knees. A little bit of a sequence. So again, maybe just follow me. So hands and knees. Step it straight back into 
a plank. Engage your core. We're going to do alternating knee pulls. So inhale, left knee glides forward. Exhale, step back. Then right knee glides forward. And then step back. Eight more. We inhale. Inhale and exhale. Six more. Four more. Open up that chest. Two more. And then hold. Straight from here, you're going to drop the knees straight down. So don't move anything. You just drop the knees down. Keep your elbows tucked under and come halfway down and do 10 pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold. Push it up. Whew, straighten those legs and we do it two more sets. So you're going to glide left knee. Right knee, left knee, right knee, six more, four, two, and hold the plank, drop the knees straight down, oh, arms are on fire, tuck elbows in, halfway down, and pulse, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Full extension. Whew. One more set. Lift those legs up. Lock shoulders. You're going to pull in. One, two. If your arms are not feeling it and your abs are not feeling it, then you have got muscles for days. Four more. Two. And hold. Okay, drop those knees. This is the worst part. Tuck it in. Come halfway down. Pulse. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it. Full extension. And release into shell stretch. Take a breather and relax. Let's take it from our shell stretch, roll it all the way back up, coming onto the hands and the knees, tucking toes, push it down downward dog, and walk those hands back to the feet. Just relaxing, scooping the tummy in, and rolling that spine all the way back up to standing. You're going to take a step forward, and let's come into our leg workout of the session. So we're going to relax the shoulders, toes forward, and a little bit wider than the hips. Let's push those hips back, coming into a squat, lifting those arms in line with the ears. You're going to inhale, take the hands to the bum, and as you do so, straighten the legs, but keep your spine neutral. You inhale, and then exhale forward. We inhale, and exhale forward. We inhale, take the hands back. Exhale, come forward, pulling belly button to spine. You, I don't want to see any rounding of the shoulders. don't want to see you dropping your neck. Four. Three. Two. And last one. You're going to come into your squat. You're going to hold it. Let's take the one hand to the hip. And exhale, swap it over for 10. Keep your squat. Nine, lift your chin. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both hands glide forward and we pulse the squat for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. You got to exhale, push it up onto one leg and balance on it. We inhale, come into a squat again and do the same leg again. Two, you come into your squat and we lift up. Three, squat, lift those arms. Four, inhale down, exhale, lift. 
Inhale down. Exhale left. Locking the leg you're standing on as you extend. Four. Three. Soften those shoulders. Two. One. Lift it up to standing and find your balance. You're going to flex that foot and we're going to reach those hands in front of you. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, we lift the arms, extend the leg. One, we lower it back in. And two. Three, inhale. Exhale, four. You can do this, guys. Five. Six. Rib cages in. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Hold that position. Pulse that leg up for ten. Nine. Work those hip flexors. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold. You guys are going to go straight into your squat and straight onto the other side. One. You squat and lift. Two. Three. Don't forget the breathing, the control, the connection. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Find your balance. Reach those arms in front of you. Flex the foot. And we're going to inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. One, two. Woo. One side's always more difficult. Four, five. Feel those muscles in your foot working. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it. Pulse that leg up for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. You're going to finish it off in your squat again and pulse for 10. Nine, eight, seven, lift those arms, lift that chin, three, two, hold, and release. Woo! Nice arm and leg workout for you guys. Okay, we're nearly there. One more little challenge, and then we'll cool you down. Let's take that right foot forward and take that left foot back. You want to be on the tippy toes of that left foot. We're going to bend into that right leg or that front leg. It doesn't matter which leg you're on. You're going to reach those arms forward, shifting into a high lunge. Now, from here, we inhale, lean into a low lunge. And then exhale, straighten that back leg. We inhale and exhale. See if you can get so low that you're almost touching, but you don't rest. Let's go for another six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Take it into your lunge, shift the weight back, and let's pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold, and gently release. Return to center. Woo! Nice glute and thigh workout for you. Left foot goes forward, right foot goes back. Lengthen. We're going to bend into that front leg. Engage the core. Reach those arms up. Don't know about you, but my arms are tired. You're going to inhale, lean it into a lunge. Exhale, straighten that back leg. One. Two. 
little bit of shaky breathing happening here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more guys. You're going to lean it into your lunge, shift back and pulse for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and hold and release. Glide it to the front. Woo! Let's cool ourselves down. So open up those legs wide, toes forward, tight tummy. Fold down. Just relax. Catch your breath. You're going to walk it over to the one ankle, only to shift completely into a high lunge. Hold. We're going to step it back into plank. I know what you're thinking. This is not a cool down, but it is. <sighs> Take your knees gently underneath your hips. Taking that one leg back, flex the foot and slide it across your body and then look towards that foot. It is such a nice Hip opener, hip stretch, side bend stretch, neck stretch. Bring it back to center, step to plank. That same leg comes forward, high lunge. You're going to gracefully swoop it over through the center and over to the other side. High lunge again. Plank position. Bring the knees underneath the hips. Straighten that other leg back, flexing the foot. Slide it across and look towards that foot. Bring it back to center, go to your plank, bring that same leg forward, high lunge, and then gracefully swoop it back to the center, toes forward, and let's just walk toes, heels, or heels, toes, back to the center, roll your spine up, bring it to standing. Whew, one more little stretch. You're going to come down onto those shins. We're going to take those hands behind your back. Interlock the fingers, stick the chest forward. If you struggle with flexibility, you can open your legs wider. Otherwise, we're just going to drop down. Let those hands go over. Rest the head on the floor. Bring those hands into your child's pose. And when you're ready, lift it all the way back up. Woo! Well done, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. It's quite a spicy one. No longer cold. But I can't wait to see you next time. Enjoy it and leave a comment below. And don't forget to like this video. Bye.